I think Gymnastics Canada has has shown that we're valuable and we're fifth in, in the last Olympics and I think that is stuck in everyone's brain that we we have talent, we just we need to obviously keep gaining confidence and I think these camps help gain confidence. I think successful competitions will help gain confidence. I just feel like we all have the drive and passion to do it. It's just time to show it and time to shine. My decision to return to the Elite was pure heart into gymnastics and um, I absolutely love competing in college but after the 2012 Olympic Games I wanted to go again like it was just immediate I wanted to get back in the gym and start training and then I just kept thinking well why not I, I just I love gymnastics and that's pretty much why I just I keep going I keep going that was pretty good after the last Olympics I had committed to the University of Georgia, so I went in January 2013, so there wasn't much I could do in um, the six months before college, just because there weren't many meets and there was no really purpose of me going to compete um, internationally. So I just, like I said, stayed in the gym, played around with, with new skills that have now been added to my routines today. So um, I guess it, it paid off, definitely, to play around with skills, and that's, a, that's the best part of gymnastics sometimes, is just, you know, having a free, a free gym to do whatever you want in. I haven't been to a camp probably since before the Olympics, so it's new to me. Again, it's it's I, I kind of feel like the underdog at camps right now, even though I've been part of Gymnastics Canada for so long. Um, it's fun, it's motivating to see all the, the little girls um, now 17, 18 years old, not so little anymore, and they're um, I'm fighting for a spot with them. It's it's interesting. I think it's a lot more structured now, and I think it's a lot more team oriented and team. Um, the team is the big focus. I really like that, and I feel like I can I can help contribute to that just because I've been at college and I know about putting the team first. And I love that Canada has now started to believe that the team is first. That was better. Yeah. It just. Just yeah. needs more rotation. Go back a bit. I just sink down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. That's what they meant. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. The girls here, it's so much fun because we're all at the same level and we're all, we all have the same goal and the same drive. It's nice coming here and having so many coaches supporting you and it's not just your three college coaches, it's, it's your own personal coaches and everybody else because they all want the team to succeed. So it's really awesome knowing that you have that support behind you um, and I have support in college and support in Canada. So I'm pretty much in, in a great position as, as I am right now. I've learned how to um, kind of calm my nerves a little bit, even though I get super nervous and um, I try and hide them well. I've learned that mistakes are okay and it's not the end of the world if I make a mistake. And I've learned how to be a team player. I feel like that is, is going to help, um, you know, help in, in more ways than I can probably imagine. Um, I mean, I, take, I feel like I take a little bit while, uh, a little more time to get into the groove of things. You know, I'm having to take um, you know, Advil every day and just, you know, rolling around on the floor, just working out the kinks compared to girls that are still training and I'm here rolling out. But again, like I am 22 years old and it's definitely not as easy as it was, but again, I can contribute in different ways. So, obviously you need more endurance and, and more strength, so I think that's the biggest challenge I'm having is just, just having the endurance to get through a routine. Um, of course it's you know, everybody has to do it. It's more of just, okay, how much harder do I need to work to get through this? I'm at the point of making um, like three quarters routines with dismount um, or full sets with a timer dismount and um, get up and do a, a regular dismount. Well, I could even do pat to a full shaposh half. Yeah. And then just count the C and it'll still be six, three, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I want to shaposh the bail. Yeah. The bail's sometimes under too. So. Yeah. So you're going to recover and then you're going to do toe half, half mark hold this okay, one. Sounds good. Okay. It's it's a blessing and a curse for Isabella to be training on her own. In some ways it suits her very well because she has such a remarkable work ethic. Like she's the, one of the hardest working young people that I've, I've met in my life. And so in that way it suits her very well because she likes to put in a large number of repetitions. Uh, she, she tends to work very quickly. But the disadvantage of that again is you, you feel like you're, you're on your own. You're the one that's there the longest, the most hours. So 
you, know, you have to be very self-reliant when, when you're in that situation. Unfortunately for her, she's always coped with that very well and been had this amazing self-motivation. For Isabella to make the national team, the, the challenge was because she, she went on the high performance scene so late, her first Elite Canada was as a second year junior. So it, it wasn't a lot of time and I remember we went to a training camp uh, before that Elite Canada and asked the national director at that time, like, do you think we should even go to, to Elite Canada? And she was impressed enough with Isabella that she said, yes, of course. And, and she did very well. She came in the top six in her first Elite Canada. Being so remote and having so few opportunities, it, it's always a tough fit. Up, then, uh was good, but you hold that position, but then when you land, you don't lift your chest up or bend. Okay. Okay, you can't do sort of one or the other. You still have to get your chest up, okay, no matter what. Even if you're squeezing your bum tight, you still have to get your chest up when you land or you're going to rebound. Look, good, good, good. That was better. It's really nice, it's really nice to have the support and to see the girls doing the same skills and um, if we're working maybe on, on going to a camp where we're more working on new skills, it's nice to see that because at home I don't really have that, so it helps. It definitely I f helps me build my confidence and prepare mentally for showing other judges. Most of the time I train alone, like there's other girls in the gym, but mainly I'm on the event alone. Because uh, Bella was a late entry into the high performance scene, every time we go and we compete internationally, it's a, it's a great learning experience for all of us. And I, I think we're becoming more comfortable in that environment and now she knows what to expect. You know, it's interesting when we think just three years ago she was on her first international assignment where now she's kind of one of the senior members of the, the national team. Just a, you know, a few, a couple years ago she was in, you know, the deer in the headlights. Lots of execution, lots of focusing on each time we go to an event, like let's say on bars or something, focusing on aiming for like a 15 bar routine or a nine execution when I do beam and just keep plugging away. For Isabella, I would say her, her, her main strength is her work ethic. Like she works harder than, than anyone else out there and that, I think, has been the secret to her success. You know, certainly she has beautiful, beautiful physical ability in terms of her very flexible gymnast, very graceful gymnast, and I think that, that shows really well uh, on her beam routine. Uh, on her floor dance, it's very beautiful to watch. Uh, but then her bars difficulty is also exceptional. She has a 6-3 start on bars right now and, and some exciting combinations. So it, it's a spectacular bar routine. So I think that, that adds a really exciting element to, to what she can bring to the Canadian team. Okay, so as discussed a little bit yesterday, we're gonna stick with this order, except for the one change on the bars for today, okay? Um, and David and Lori will sort of take charge of the team and the, I want the other coaches close by to make sure boards are correct and everything's set and then sort of j step back you know today and tomorrow before we get on the early morning train. So t it's the second day of training so the girls are familiar with the environment the equipment today we're doing a model training and during the model training, it's a, it'll be a simulation of what we'll do in the podium training and the competition at Pan Ams. And they'll actually perform their routines as they would at the competition for the judges. And that'll give us some information on, you know, things we can use in terms of strategy, improving execution and so on. So you'll start warm up on the bars, bars beam, floor vault. The others will we'll start, I think we can start on the beam like start the actual model training on the beam, so you're ahead, okay? So Halidi and Brittany will be on a different event, okay? You can begin. All you guys have to do is be ready for your turn.
getting those routines kind of back into competition, really coming together as a team and, you know, seeing what we can do for Canada. And it, to me, it feels like an actual competition because it still fe it feels like he's going to choose who's going to compete what from that. with the judges, everyone together, come on. Uh, a few rough edges still to smooth out, but that's good, we have time. Uh, generally very pleased about today's training. Uh, beam was awesome, okay. Uh, maybe some jump things to, so to fix here and there. But a little bit today, during the model training, uh, you weren't able to perform up to the level that I saw over the past couple of days. I think that you will be able to do it again. And you just have to remember that it's perform on demand, right? So that when the green light goes on, you go out and you do what you're capable of doing. You're all very capable of doing it. Yep, so, just the way you did yeah, it yeah. in the past yesterday. To me, that there seems a bit to be a little bit of a lack of confidence. And I think if you act confident, even if you're not, you have to act confident. This will carry on, you know, this will, this will help you because we can't march into that, flo into that gym in, in our own country in Toronto and get smaller. We have to march in there ready to do the job and get bigger and better, stronger, faster. All right. And then we're, we get treatment and then we come back and do some fixing of issues that we had in the mock meet and cleaning up to make sure we have all the small details fixed when we go to Toronto. No, present. I want you to go right from presenting to, to me. Okay. Look at me. Come here. How did it feel when I wasn't watching the ending of your floor routine? How did it feel? <laughs> Not so good. Not so good, right? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to always make me watch you because, you know, you didn't like it when I didn't watch you. I don't like it when you're not trying to bring me into the routine, right? So that's what you need to do. Yeah. But all of this through the beginning, exactly what you need to be doing, right? Okay. Engaging and bringing in. Yeah. So. Can I show you a new leap? A new leap? Yeah. Yes.
a little bit of leg position low, right? So remember that when you're doing any type of ring leap on floor, one of the requirements is that the ring position and the front leg have, the front leg has to be as horizontal at the same time that the ring position is hit or else it goes down one. It's great getting different pers perspectives. I've, I've been used to having three coaches at college and um, they're each to their own event. Um, so now knowing that there are several coaches for every event is fantastic. For me, I honestly, I love being training with the team and uh, it's a lot of fun just being with other girls um, that are like doing the same thing as you and uh, it's just, it's good to have like the motivation behind you and the encouragement. Getting feedback from the judges is helpful to get um, to make improve the uh, execution score. So helpful. I mean, it's it's hard to remember that the judges are on our side and they want us to succeed. So it's nice um, that they're up close and personal and um, they're representing our country too. So they want to see us um, have have big scores. So it's nice knowing that um, they're doing it out of a genuine heart, just like everybody else here. So six one. What was the 6-1 and it yeah. could be 6-3. Uh, your e, D, e score was 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. And it was 7-7 seven, seven only because when we had to weigh the hit brush, the brush. of the bar okay. the point versus um, the, the knees bent. Remember yeah. when you were yes. doing the actual routine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you did like the tuck giant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> giant and yeah. then fly away. We need it. So okay. then, yeah. So then that was the point five. But then mm -hmm. we sort of said, we won't take this point five, but we'll take one, but not both. Okay. So for sure, you're going to go up probably at least like a half a point in the okay. e score. Yeah. I am a big girl. I don't need my hand held anymore, but I'm just so open to suggestions because I, I want to. I want to succeed for Canada and I want Canada to do as well as they, they did at 2012. Uh, you had a little pause in the corner, like yeah. more than one second before the, the front double twist into the front tuck. Still, it was really good. So right? even and if it's two foot, you still have to like, basically like, just yeah, like... Yeah, like you're yeah. only, you have to remember, you're only allowed two feet once, yeah. right? But then even if it's... Up, even if, if it's I, a two foot, you still have to go fast. Yeah, even if I, if I can go like 1,001, one, and if I, as soon as I start to say 1,002, as soon as I get the one, like 1,001, yeah. one, one, point one. So at that point, I'm going to cause a distraction. Actually, the one thousand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, she's going. Yeah. That's my strategy. Yeah, it was hard, a bit hard on the legs today, but that's okay. We get tomorrow off to rest and then get going. This afternoon, yeah, we're going on a boat cruise, which will be so much fun. It's so so nice outside, and um, it'll just be nice to relax and um, enjoy company outside of gymnastics, um, outside of the gym, and um, just get to know one another a little bit more and. Um, have a casual, nice stroll on the water. It'll be fun. Okay, you guys, look here. Oh, squish in there, Bella. Oh. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Got it. These camps are awesome because it's literally just us. We're all fun and we all love each other and we're all excited for um, the process of making it to the Olympic Games. It's cool that we can all get along without being in the gym. It's just pure heart for gymnastics and it's pure desire to succeed for Canada. So I think that just like it adds sparks to friendships and, and just gets the ball rolling and it's, it's awesome. I think we're on the right track right now. We're building a nice strong team that will get experience in the next couple of years internationally and will be ready for uh, competition. You know, it's tough for uh, us in Canada. A lot of our girls end up going to the States for uh, NCAA scholarships and it's a great experience but we're losing a lot of athletes to that. So for us it's mostly just trying to keep the girls that we have healthy and, and really trying to expand our difficulty, making sure that we have lots of girls, not just a small group that we can choose from, but a bigger bigger pool that we can choose from. You know, really fight for those spots on the team to have the best team we can. I think it's definitely, we have more confidence as a country now in, in our gymnastics, and I think that's a major improvement that I've seen. And we can only keep getting better because we're all so committed and we're all driven and we want to, like I said, we all have the heart to do it and we want to just contribute the best way we can. I think confidence is definitely there in, in Gymnastics Canada.